Hey guys, it's Jackie, just trying to get in focus. I was thinking of a video, and I might do this for more than just Bath and Body Works, so you guys will have to let me know if this is something that you're interested in. I don't want you guys to feel like we always have to go out and buy the newest candle, the newest wax, um, wallflowers. Many of you know that I have a really large collection or selection of wax items um, here in my home. So I was thinking, I have watched a lot of um, beauty YouTubers that talk about Project Pan. So what they mean by that is like, say they have a bronzer in a palette, they want to use up that entire bronzer and then they show you updates on that. So I want to do like my spin on a project pan and what I want to do is I have quite a few items here that I want to show you guys that I want to use up in the next 30 days. Now keep in mind I am going to Disney so I won't be home for that and also I burn candles almost every single day and I use waxes every day. Like some warmers I'll leave on and some I'll turn off. And I have wallflowers plugged in. While I'm gone, I won't have those. And I mean, we have somebody staying at our home, but I won't leave them plugged in while I'm gone. But I thought this would be kind of a cool video. So today I am filming this on August 12th. So maybe what I'll do is on September 12th, everything I show in this video, I'll show you where I am 30 days from now. We'll see if that's too long of a time frame, if it's not long enough kind of thing. So I haven't seen anybody else do this. So I'm calling this my Bath and Body Works Project Pan. So I'm going to show you which items I'm going to use up. So I have some candles. I have a room spray, wallflowers, and wax melts. So a few of these are burned, so I will start with the room spray. This is one that I got last year, and it's a marshmallow fireside. It's pretty full. Like, um, it, I've only squirted it that I'm aware of like one to two times in my bedroom. So my plan is to use up this spray. And the other thing, um, I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy candles, you know, because I do like to buy and review candles. That's what I, I enjoy the most. But what I am going to say is I'm going to try to use up what I have, put it in an empties video, and call it a day. I don't know where this is going to go or how it will pan out, but I'm going to try. Marshmallow Fireside. Um, I don't think the notes are on here anywhere, but it's marshmallow, vanilla, and maybe a wood scent. I love this. It comes back out every single year, and this packaging from last year was super, super adorable with that tent and the little fire on it. This one is the White Barn Melt in Blueberry Sugar. There are three cubes here, and like I told you guys, you only need one cube per warmer. So if you're going to mix some scents, you could cut it in half, you know, but my goal is to use this up. So these are three, and I want to use these up before I break into the, any of the other ones that I've hauled. I want to be smart about it. So I want to use that up. Pie crust, there's only one missing. So this is the pie crust. I love this wax. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I want to order more of this before it's gone because I did realize I think I only have one of these left. That's how much I like it. Um, pumpkin pecan waffles in the wax. So there's that. There's four cubes left. And limoncello. I like this one. I think it smells really, really good. And there are four cubes in there. My light seems super duper bright. So... There's limoncello and there are four cubes. This is a really good lemon scent. It smells really good. You guys are going to have to comment down below if you want to take this challenge with me. Um, it was kind of funny because I was talking to my friends Tiffany and Brandy today at work. And we were saying like how we have candles that are semi-burnt and we haven't lit them again. And that's what kind of inspired this. And I asked them what they thought about this can um, video. And they were like, yeah, that would be really cool. So I don't know. We'll see where this goes. Just kind of putting it out there. Um, because I use wallflowers, one that I want to use up is key lime pie. This one smells like Fruit Loops. That's what everybody thinks it smells like. It's zesty key lime, graham cracker crust, and a dollop of meringue. Another one is strawberry pound cake. I love this wallflower. It's fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. 
And then Frosted Cake Pop, it was a failed test last year um, for the candle. I have the candle right here. I did buy it on Mercari for like way too much money. I don't want to burn them, but this is really good. I should burn it. Um, Frosted Cake Pop is a buttercream ice seam icing warm vanilla and juicy cherries so I don't know if you guys watched my video where I bought up one store out of all of those that's how much I love that this I want to use up I've used a pretty good chunk of this, this is my one wick of my cedar lane and it's the candle it's being described as warm caramel granny smith apple and ground clove I don't really get a lot of the ground clove I get more of the caramel apple oh it smells so good and I don't know, you can see there's quite a couple chunks missing there. So my goal is to use this up in my warmers. Um, I told you guys I'm going to chunk my one wicks because I feel like when I burn them, I don't get the biggest bang for my buck. This one, I'm kind of on the fence about. Now we're getting into my three wicks. It's banana cream pie. So here is the candle. I have lit it twice. No issues with the burn. Nothing with the wicks. The notes in here are fresh banana slices, whipped cream, a scoop of peanut butter, and cookie crumble crust. I don't really smell peanut butter. I smell more banana in the crust. It still smells like a vanilla wafer dessert to me. Um, oh, I knew he was going to come up. I could hear him barking at the front fence. Let's see if we... I don't think he's going to go away. One moment. Okay, sorry about that. So anyways, what I was saying is um, with banana cream pie, I have lit this candle twice. I really don't get a strong scent from it. So I had it here in this room, which is a small room and it, you know, I'm kind of enclosed here and I still couldn't smell it. So my goal is to get through this to see if I smell it any differently. But this is one that is still available. So it's banana cream pie, warm apple pie. I love this candle. I love the packaging. I've lit it a couple of times. No issues with it. So the notes in here are baked Granny Smith apple, melt melted brown sugar, and flaky home crust. And I sound like a liar because I tell you I don't like the apple scents. The one apple scent that I do not like is the heirloom. So for those of you that corrected me on heirloom, um... I don't like that apple scent. So I'm kind of, I think I like more the sweeter apple. This smells like a warm apple pie, like legit warm apple pie coming out of the oven. Love the packaging on all of these fall candles. And that's a good one. Next is a Cider Lane. I have this one on my kitchen table on Mr. Fox. And you can see I have burned it quite a few times. I love this glass. So Cider Lane right now is only available online. And when I went to the test store in Columbus, Ohio, they did not have this one. Yeah, I didn't see this one in store. Um, it's warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, and dark brown sugar. I have to tell you, I am going to burn through this. Um, but I have to tell you that I do prefer the caramel apple candle over this. I think that one throws better. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I want to burn through this. And what I was thinking when I let Jake in, I don't want him to hear me. Um, what I was thinking is when I go to do my empties video, video in September, I'll probably have other empties, but then we'll kind of circle back around. Um, I will put on the bottom of these after I film a PP so I don't forget Project Pan <laughs> so that I remember to circle back around. This one I do like. It's Ghoul Friends. My friend Tiffany. Shout out to Tiffany. She likes this one too. She says it's sweet pea. I did have to doctor this one up a little bit. And what I mean by that is I cotton balled it and I had to scrape it with a toothpick. I think I told you guys that in the post burn review. So I do want to get through this one. It's dark strawberries, ghostly peony, spine chilling citrus with essential oils. And I do... I do really like this one and I love the packaging. The lid is super pretty. So I want to burn through this one. I do have a backup. Next, oh, I love this candle. I absolutely love this candle. I just got it out and it is a hot fudge sundae. I started burning it this weekend. Um, I did notice right here. Um, you can see where the burn line, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, where the difference is. There's, it's two different colors. Here's kind of the line. So it looks like a little bit of the wick got in there. 
but it doesn't matter. It smells like heaven. Um, if you're living under a rack, this one is gooey fudge, vanilla bean ice cream, and whipped cream. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love this candle. And I have to tell you that it throws really well for me. They're just, whenever I need like a little pick me up, I know that sounds kind of crazy. Um, and maybe it doesn't, maybe it makes sense to someone else out there. Sometimes like if you're having a rough day or everything just seems like it's kind of like, you know, whatever. Sometimes lighting a candle that smells really good is I don't it just it gives me um a boost in my happiness because if my home smells good and I feel good being there then I get more recharged and more relaxed and let's face it a lot of us build a home so that we can plug back into our home and something about hot fudge sunday it does it for me we should do a thumbnail it's been a while since we've done with a hot fudge sunday you like that so, oh, and I was dying laughing and so was Joe when a couple of you said that if I say let's do a thumbnail and then I don't follow it up with a you like that, then you guys are saying it. So that made me so happy. But anyways, Project Pan, it won't take me long to get through this one. I can already tell you that one right off the bat. Then the last one that I'm Project Panning that I want to is the Maple Cinnamon Pancakes. I really have enjoyed this one. Um, and I love the lid. It's like an embossed leaf on there. So the notes in here are warm maple syrup, fluffy buttermilk pancakes, and fresh ground cinnamon. And I will tell you that this candle reminds me, or it's like along the same lines um, as the Bonfire and S'mores. It, when I when I lit this candle and I had it going in my kitchen, um, I think it was mostly on Sunday. Yeah, because Saturday we were in Columbus. So mostly on Sunday I had this lit and Joe didn't really smell it, but I could smell it. And it reminds me a lot of Bonfire and S'mores. So if you like Bonfire and S'mores and you can only find this one, I would say pick it up. Um, now I will tell you at the Columbus, Ohio location at Tuttle Crossings, I kept calling it Tuttle Creek, um, in there, they have two Bath and Body Works stores in that mall. The one upstairs, they had Bonfire and S'mores. I was so shocked. Like they had a ton of that Americana collection. So if you're near Columbus, Ohio and you want Bonfire and S'mores, go. They have it. So anyways, here's Maple Cinnamon Pancakes. So this is another candle that I want to burn through. And then, you know, I, I, I might buy backups. I don't know yet. Let me know what you guys think about this idea. I it was just trying to think of things, you know, to talk about. We don't always have to go out and haul. We don't always have to spend money. We don't have to always buy the newest, greatest candles. But let's face it, we enjoy that. That's why I come to YouTube because I want to see what people are getting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up because that way YouTube knows you like my channel and the analytics will skyrocket. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!